Gusty winds caused some major problems for firefighters in Salisbury this morning. Take a look at that. They were working to put out this massive fire that burned three buildings in all. WBZ's Louisa Moller's live in Salisbury for us this noon time. And Louisa, we know firefighters are still there on the scene. Paula, they are here as a precaution to put some hot spots out if they arise. But first, take a look at this remarkable destruction. If you take a little walk with me, over here, what you're looking at, this used to be a 12-unit apartment building. On the other side of that, there is a motel. Uh, the fire crews say that somewhere in between those, what was those two buildings, that's where the fire started. And now, as you can tell, they are completely gone, leveled by the fire and the demolition that took place uh, just a short time ago. Now, as you said, fire crews are on scene. It looks like they're packing up shortly. And thank goodness nobody was hurt here. Cell phone video shows the inferno that engulfed part of Salisbury Central Avenue. Neighbors got a sudden and startling wake up call. Around 2 30 this morning, an officer uh, pounded on my door and, and screamed, Everybody has to evacuate this area. There's a fire right up the street and it's coming your way. And the fire did move, destroying a motel, a 12 unit apartment complex, and three homes. Its flames fueled by wild wind coming off the ocean, the gusts so strong that the smoke moved sideways. You know, we had hurricane force winds, so it, uh, we, we did everything we could. 15 people were displaced, four saved by fire crews as they were completely unaware of the blaze. Now a massive cleanup is ahead, the largest Salisbury has seen in decades. Probably the biggest fire we've had in Salisbury in 25 years. So you can see there's still a little bit of smoke coming off of this debris and all of the damage. That's why the fire department does have to be on standby. Of those 15 people that were, that were displaced, the Red Cross is now taking care of them. There's a warming center at 43 Lafayette Avenue. If you were impacted by this fire, you can head there to get some help. Now we're live in Salisbury. Louisa Moeller, WBZ News.